Hello and welcome to another show. I'm Sid and this is the two minute version of this eyelash tutorial effect which I spent about 10 minutes wasting some people's time with. Uh, it's probably more efficient and better if you just watch this video. So let's create a new project uh, and then we'll minimize that other one. Open up GIMP and I'll show you the what I've been working on. Just super quick. So I imported these textures, the mesh, uh, the masculine and the mesh tracker from the Spark AR reference assets pack. All the links will be in the description down below for the software and the assets and everything. And then basically what I did was just draw along the line where this red tracking dots are. Just basic, terrible looking eyelashes. The reason I did it in white is so it's more obvious to see against the mesh. You can remove the mesh and just draw it straight onto the face, but I prefer the accuracy that you can get from these red little dots. So basically I drew that on one side and then... Uh, duplicated the layer and flipped it over with this flip tool onto this other side. I edited it a little bit so it doesn't look exactly the same and then I exported that as a separate PNG file all by itself. So we've got that now. In this new project file we can add a face mesh to our scene which we'll add this and then we'll create a new material layer down here and we can choose the file eyelashes which I've just exported oh sorry I got the hiccups a little bit as you can see that is now on his face so we'll come over to mine and you can see that it's pretty much on mine as well tracks nicely when I blink I'm gonna change the color so we're gonna have something that's a little bit closer to like black but not quite and then reduce the opacity to maybe 42 you can even change which sort of if you want it to be physically based you can still mess around with the opacity and the colors you can even have reflection if you want you know sparkly ones you can play around with it if you want some other stuff i would also recommend very quickly that you select no compression and edit properties under compression change the quality to 100 percent that way when you export to test on your phone or device it won't come out blurry because it's quite narrow pixels it uh, might try and compress the image when it exports so that's just a handy little hint this is a little bit more than two minutes but probably more handy than the actual t t 10 minute video that i made before i don't know like subscribe leave a comment thanks for watching i appreciate uh any feedback have a nice day bye rambling